Welcome to Indie Resources video on Node.js and Socket.io. Um, this is going to be the first video on actual Node.js and it's the, the sixth video on creating a uh, browser based game using HTML5 and the Impact Engine. Um, if you're just coming into this just for the Node.js and Socket.io, that's, that's fine. You don't really necessarily need any of the other videos before or after we get this done, especially if you have this planned for your own game and you're not really concerned with the Impact Engine or, or you already know it or <clears throat> you're, you're making it totally separate from that. I'm going to try to base these tutorials to, to for everybody to where whether you're watching it to create a game or you're watching it just to learn Node that everybody gets the same thing out of it. So the first thing we want to do, and this is where I had the most problem because there's if you've if you've messed with Node and you've messed with Sockets, you know there's very little documentation. The documentation that's out there is not that great. Um, it just doesn't really do a very good job of explaining anything, in my opinion. If so, I'm gonna I'm gonna start from start to finish. So if you go ahead and download. Um, click the download and then download your installer and put it wherever you're going to put it. I've already done it and I don't, I don't feel like making you guys watch me do it. So install Node. I installed it in my program files. And then and it's nodejs.org. Just go to the download. And then go to socket.io and it's just socket.io. Go to the wiki. Um, click code. And then grab this zip file and unzip that. And I put mine in the ctemp folder. So if I go to my folders and I go to my ctemp <coughs> It created this directory, learn, boost, socket, whatever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to copy all of this, all these files that are in here, and this is from the socket IO. And then I'm going to go to my program files, and I'm 64 bit, so I'm using program files times 86. Depends on wherever it's at, but it's going to be under program files, Node.js, and <clears throat> this is what you're going to, well, this is what you're going to have. So go into node modules, create a new directory called socket.io, just like that, just an all lowercase. Inside there, paste all of those files that you just copied. That's going to create that, that socket.io side. Let me, let me just start by saying, I don't know if this is the exact correct way to do this. I don't know if there's a better way. This is the way that works for me, so this is how I do it. If somebody wants to comment later, hey, hey here's a better way or whatever, that's fine, but I know this works. I'm still not sure what exact files are, are used out of this after the build because I haven't even taken the time to really look but this works so it's good enough for me and I will do a video later after I figure out what files I can get rid of after this that will show us what files but once you get these in if you just go to this readme it'll tell you how to install now once again this isn't the greatest in the world but if, if we do this npm install socket IO so let's copy that just to make it easier on us <clears throat> let's let's just pop out to the beginning and there's our npm so if we go to to CMD or command prompt and I know it says Nicole here it's a long story I'm not even going to get into it so laugh at me if you want um, if we just go to our CD backslash there's a couple ways we can do this I tell you what let's do this an easier way now that you have all of these modules inside your node.js and you got everything you need go ahead and copy that so I'm going to copy and now I'm going to go to my impact tut folder and I'm just going to paste that right in there right in the in the main file so now we have everything in there we need. Now we need still need to run this npm. So let's go to cd backslash w or it's an under wamp slash www slash impact tut. And now we can run that that line. So if we paste that, which it didn't paste. So let me open that back up again. Oh, that's because I already copied. So let me go back in here and let me just copy that again and you can see it as soon as I pasted it it took off and so now it's building it it's getting everything it needs um, and it's creating everything we need to make this work and that's pretty much what it did <clears throat> so if we go back out that's pretty much it we're installed we're ready to go and to, t to test it first let's make a um, and I've already created one and I'm gonna show you guys what's in it if we go back to our let's go back to our program let me go back to my temp folder oh I'm there right now um, and I'm gonna put this in the source but if you just want to create it just create a new file and call it um, server.bat or you can call it whatever you want make sure you call it a dot bat and then open it up just go to edit and just put wherever everything whatever put your directory mines under C WAMP WW impact tut slash and then put node and then app.js and what that's gonna do and I'm gonna show you what's an app.js <coughs> Basically, that makes Node run this JavaScript file that, that I've just that I've created that we're going to create, and I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And once again, this is going to be in the source too. 
but I'm going to paste that in here. This is ma basically my server file, and I just called it app. You can call it server.js. You can call it whatever you want, but whatever you call it, you need to make sure you put it in server bat. If I come into my, if I come in here and open this, um, <clears throat> I've went ahead and created it, and it's got, it's already got a couple, couple things going on inside here. Um, the reason why I have that is because I've, I'm kind of ready for the next video to show you guys. So don't worry about all this other stuff that's in here. Um, yeah, because these will run later, but this thing, basically all it's going to do is Node is going to call this and it's going to, um, <clears throat> it's going to run through its code and I can explain it to you, but basically you need to, you need to check what port you're on. Now remember, you're running WAMP, so don't make it port 80 because you're going to have a lot of problems with that. I did mine 8080, that way they wouldn't conflict with each other, um, with the WAMP. Um, it's going to load your index.html and all that good stuff, so the next thing we need to look at is our index.html, so inside of your impact tut inside of our index.html go ahead and open that up and <clears throat> inside here I'm actually in the wrong one it's, here we go inside this uh, index.html um, we're gonna need to create a couple things in here we're gonna create a listen currently we don't need this not to run the server and so that I'm gonna I'm gonna save this for the next video but let's go ahead and get it open and ready so to test this we can go ahead and close this out we want to test our server now just to see if it's running just to see if all the compile runs so go ahead and go to your server.bat and run it and it will say info socket.io started and that's basically it it's waiting on a connection so all we gotta do now is make the application connect to the server and vice versa the server connect or you know call talk to the application we're going to do that in the next video so we at least want to get to here and know that our server is running if you're getting errors there um, you may want to run this to where through an actual command prompt and all you're doing is basically running that right there so you can see the error that pops out so it doesn't close because if you get an error when you run server.bat it's just going to close real quick so if you're getting some errors you know you can stop by the forums and, and pick them up and if you're looking for the source for this make sure you go to indie resource um, dot com to the forums underneath the tutorials and, and I'll put a link in the, in the browser and it'll all be there so with that said on the next video we're going to start making our client talk